welcome to today's video. If you haven't seen my face before, my name is Jess and I make videos about Harry Potter, about theme parks, about being vegan, and about just a bunch of other things here on my channel. So if you're not subscribed, please click that subscribe button because it helps me out so, so much. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit that bell over there because then you'll be notified about all of my future videos, which is so exciting. So if you guys didn't already know, I actually used to work at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I was stationed in Hogsmeade at the store Dervish and Bangs, and I worked there for about two years before I left the company. And a couple months ago, I actually got to come back. So I am currently in an entertainment position at Universal. I won't go into anything further than that. But I do have some uh, insider knowledge about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in particular that I would love to share with you guys. So stay tuned if you guys want to hear some employee secrets about working at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, because apparently you guys want to see this, so here it is. <laughs> So one of the first secrets that I have for you guys is about the London phone booth. So if you guys go into the London area of Universal Studios Florida, there is going to be a telephone booth, there is the King's Cross station as well as the night bus. So if you go into the phone booth and you type in the number that spells magic, so you have, I'm going to figure this one out real quick for you guys, six. 2442. That is the number. If you call that, the Ministry of Magic will actually answer the phone for you. I like doing that whenever I go because I think it's fun. They answer. Next up, we have a little bit about the snake outside of the Magical Menagerie. Magical Menagerie is in Diagon Alley. When you head up the street towards the dragon, take the left, and it's the shop over there that's kind of green looking. If you go down that little hallway that is kind of dark, there's a nice little bench for sitting and getting out of the sun, but there's also a giant snake in the window. And if you stand in the right spot and stand for the right moment, he actually starts speaking in English to you, which is really, really cool. So a lot of it's parcel tongue and you can't really understand it, but if you hang out a little bit, then you'll hear the English and then you'll know what he's saying. So this is actually one of my favorite facts about the Wizarding World is about the wands. So Sirius's wand in particular has three sides that have one strike through the arrow on the bottom part of the wand, but one of the sides does not have the strike through it. So in wand lore, that is the side that you're supposed to hold up. So if you hold it the wrong way, it might shoot magic back at you, but it's, it's not the right way to hold it. So Sirius was said to have drawn the runes on in Azkaban so that no one else could steal his wand. So that's why they're like that, but you have to hold it up with the right side. And actually while I was over there filming this clip of the wands, the wand lady who was working there told me a fun fact about Molly Weasley's wand and that there are seven strikes on the, like, the knob of the wand at the very end. And all those seven strikes for all of her children, which was just really cute, and I didn't know that, so a surprise fun fact, a bonus, if you will. Another fact is that everybody that is working in London, so anyone that is at the little cart outside or the people that work at King's Cross, don't know about the Wizarding World. They are muggles, they're working in London, so if you go up and ask them about how to get to places, they're likely gonna not know. Some of them are like wizards in hiding, so like they'll, they'll, they'll know the information, but some of them will not because they're muggles. So if you ask them about where Hogwarts is, they're just gonna be like, what? What is Hogwarts? <laughs> Number five is a fact that most of you guys already know if you watched my How I Got a Job at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter video. I'll link that one down below. But this fact is super special because everybody that goes to work in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter has to pass a trivia test in their interview. And I just had the funnest time with mine because like I knew everything and I was like, all of my nerding out in like middle school and high school has finally come in handy and that's how I got a job. So if you guys wanna know more information about that, head over to that video because I discussed the interview process in length. <laughs> So the next one is one that you guys might actually know already, but I just thought it was fun and not everybody knows it, so I thought I would include it. But it's the fact that if you go into London, into Grimald Place, and you look at number 12 Grimald Place, it's dark um, next to all the white, whiter buildings. It's the dark one with the brick, says number 12 on the door. You look above the door into the window, every so often, Creature, the house elf, will take his little curtain and he'll peer out behind it and just kind of like be angry and then he'll close it back. And it happens like once every couple minutes, but I just find it really fun because nobody will know notice that unless you point it out to them, but it's just a little subtle detail that I love about it. 
And my last fun fact is that the store, Dolce's Emporium, which is at the end of Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, like when you get off the ride, that's the store you end up in. So when you exit the ride, you are actually in the dungeons of Hogwarts, and everybody that is working there is in detention. They are Hogwarts students that are in detention for various different things, and so one of my favorite parts about actually working in that store, I had to pick up a couple shifts, it was when people would come up and ask me why I was in detention, because they knew that we were all in detention, and everyone that works there has a very special story about why they are in detention. So next time you're there, be sure to ask someone because you'll probably get a very funny story. <laughs> so those are all of my secrets about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I have many, many more that I will be happy to share with you guys in another video, but for now we'll do seven because seven is, you know, the lucky number of all of these. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please ask them below. I will answer what I can. But again, I am currently employed with Universal and I don't want to get randomly fired for disclosing information that I shouldn't have. So I won't answer what I can't, but I will answer what I can. And if I don't answer you, I also might not have seen it. So there's that. <laughs> if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Jessica Medley right over here. I'll put the little the thing. I post very, very often and I go to the Wizarding World quite a lot. So if you guys want to see a bunch of little Instagram stories and pictures, uh, follow me there because you will definitely get some. I will see you guys in my next video and I need to come up with an intro. We're, that's, that's our next job, okay? All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Son and daughter safe from you know who all because of you you were small